Good morning. Thank you for joining me. Meteorologist Hunter Ward this morning, January 20th. We've got a front that is moving through. Many of you could switch over from rain to snow here around noontime. That is kind of what the models are thinking. Uh, there's cold air behind this that's kind of filtering in and uh, looks like it's going to catch a little bit of that precipitation here around western North Carolina and uh, through the evening we could have some scattered snow showers at your location and uh, you know some of the models showing a dusting to an inch uh, isolated one inch plus totals around uh, so I do think that we'll see some snowfall around western North Carolina today how long it lasts uh, the models are obviously struggling with that they've struggled with this all day so somewhat of a nuisance event right now let's let's just see how it unfolds though and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead let's turn around to uh, the website AshevilleWX.com I want to thank Red Wolf Contracting Services CP Cruise and Company and Time to Travel they are our website sponsors go check them all out they support me tremendously and I appreciate all of their uh, help so Grimes Tice Anderson live downtown Asheville camera not even really too much precipitation showing. Looking around at the BannerElk.com live camera in Banner Elk. Foggy along the North Carolina-Tennessee border. Uh, very foggy. Uh, got some changing of, the, of uh, precipitation that will be occurring there. Hinko Repro Graphics live camera in Candler. Just a uh, damp morning around Asheville. And as these cold temperatures move in, I think that that could cause some... Uh, problems on the roadways as well. Haywood County Farm Bureau camera. I was seeing a few little snowflakes on this camera a little while ago. Beautiful view out there up Dutch Cove. And uh, you can always find these cameras, WNC webcams, Asheville WX backslash WNC webcams. Check the Cabbage Rose camera as well. Yeah, we've got some frozen precipitation that is starting to mix in around uh, Haywood County area. So we may see that change over a little bit earlier than, uh, than what I was anticipating just a few minutes ago. Uh, Haywood County, uh, Blaylock Excavation, live camera out there uh, looking at the uh, NC State Department of Agricultural Research Center. That is kind of the Wayneville Valley camera. And then check out the uh, Ready to Sell Better Homes and Garden heritage so this is going to be an interesting camera to watch to see they're a little bit closer to the stream of precipitation i'll show you here in just a second on the radar but uh check out this camera um you could see some snowflakes falling first on this one that one's uh, farthest southwest uh may see a rain snow mix here pretty soon on that so let's uh turn around and uh look at the radar here real quick show you guys kind of the situation around western North Carolina, what we're seeing here. Already seen a snow report back in Knoxville. So here's this stream of moisture that is going to be moving into western North Carolina, and it's going to kind of stall out here as it progresses through the day. I'll show you the model show this as well. But look at it, kind of the stream is kind of reinvigorating itself right here. It's got some pieces breaking off and uh, in my opinion that's the front kind of getting hung up on the mountains there and uh, this moisture is very low in the atmosphere and so I think that you're seeing it kind of pivot itself a little bit uh, on the mountains and that's kind of where our weather will come from today. We'll see this swath of moisture kind of move through and then this storm kind of reinvigorates itself, brings um, you know two or four inches to uh, places just east of Raleigh, maybe one to three inches to Raleigh area. And, uh, you know, a good portion of the state of North Carolina could see snow showers from this uh, tomorrow and uh, throughout the early morning uh, on the east, on the east coast Sunday. So that far east coast North Carolina could see those snow showers. But look at the model in range. We're seeing this kind of line of precipitation develop over western North Carolina. You can see this is kind of going to reach back all across western North Carolina and you know in the next hour, couple hours I think that we could see many locations switching over to snow. That cold air is infiltrating in behind and uh, we'll, we'll see a changeover in many locations. Now you know what accumulates I'm not exactly sure. Um, models haven't really done too well with this. Let's show you what uh, the HRRR model shows. So we'll run this through. 
here's that swath of precipitation that's going to be moving through. And there you can just kind of see it reinvigorate itself by 1 o'clock. All uh, North uh, Buncombe County, all of Haywood County, temperatures seem to be right there borderline and snowfall seems to be possible, uh, you know, kind of north of I-40 it looks like. And, uh, you know, as the evening progresses, that looks to move out. But then, you know, we've got these streamers that develop across Henderson and Transylvania County. So uh, a difficult forecast of weather and these little nuisance uh, little spots on the radar could be, you know, a quick one to two inches of snowfall for those areas. See another little blip pops up. Looking at the sounding here, I mean, it's a snow sounding, you know, uh, you know, the moisture in the in the dendritic growth zone is what's concerning, but you've got a lot of moisture in that lower atmosphere. Temperatures below freezing. We could even see freezing fog develop around western North Carolina. You see this best guess freezing fog, freezing rain, freezing drizzle. I think that that could be possible. Some some nuisance freezing rain that could slicken up the roadways for tomorrow. And I just think tomorrow is going to be a nasty morning around western North Carolina. It may not be, you know, a, a caked on bunch of snow, but I think that the roadways are going to be, you know, they're already wet and I think that they could turn dangerous later tonight as temperatures uh, fall into the uh, into the 30s and uh, you can see as this model progresses the temperatures are going to drop even lower 31 as it progresses through the night. Oh, that hasn't loaded yet, so um, yeah, so as you progress those temperatures continue to drop and you know by 6 a.m. Let's see, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., let's see, we'll be looking at temperatures right around 30. So roadways could be a little bit frozen, uh, especially north of town, go north of town uh, of Asheville and closer to 28. And look at that, that dew point right there in that lower atmosphere. It's just showing moisture, you know. Now, what, what comes of that? Is it freezing drizzle, freezing fog? I don't know, but... You know, temperatures are below freezing, so there's there's a somewhat of a concern there tomorrow for me for that frozen fog and, you know, getting on those roadways and making it somewhat of an ice skating rink. So you'll have to watch for that as we progress through, and then uh, once you can see this system, it pushes on through, then redevelops itself on that periphery. Say that right for a couple folks that it bothered and uh then kind of a low pressure developing over western north carolina i don't know this it's a little bit odd how this progresses and you know i just think that tomorrow it could be a little bit of a dangerous day with wet roadways some snowfall on them and uh you know around Asheville could be a little bit dicey tomorrow morning probably in the afternoon it looks to clear just a bit let's uh look at what the nam 3km shows now as well that was the hrr model NAM 3KM showing a similar burst of precipitation around 1 to 2 p.m. north of Asheville. I think that places like Weaverville and, uh, you know, Marshall, Madison County, Yancey County, up to Boone are going to, you know, see us, uh, you know, a couple hours of pretty heavy snowfall this afternoon uh, moving into darkness. And that could continue if this line kind of reinvigorates itself. We'll see. Uh, you know, but I do think that there's a chance for a little bit of snowfall here to accumulate on the ground, um, you know, maybe an inch to two inches north of Asheville. And then uh, even around Asheville, you can see this line. Just, you know, what's going to happen here with this, you know, nuisance? It looks like nuisance, but that could extend all the way back across western North Carolina. And we could see accumulating snowfall as the sun sets uh, in Henderson County, Transylvania County. So you can just see those little pitter-patters. Those are little warning signs to me that the atmosphere indicates that some type of precipitation could be there. It could be, you know, a banding feature that happens, but you've kind of got to take those seriously and, you know, really use, you know, what you've got right now to give you those key clues. And so I'll show you the snowfall map here. You know, the models show... Uh, Yancey County being able to get a couple inches of snowfall, uh, Madison, uh, Haywood County, a couple inches of snowfall possible, dusting to a couple of inches, even around Asheville. Uh, it really depends on how late this snow falls. You know, as the sun sets, the accumulation will be a little bit more likely around Asheville. But, you know, 
not thinking this is going to shut the city completely down, but I do think that you know these totals could be a little bit higher than. Uh, and and I, I'm going to stick with my snowfall map that I put out um, yesterday. We'll show you guys. This is the snowfall map that I've kind of been going with. Maybe maybe I put a dusting down here in Andrews Murphy, Hayesville area. But you know, as you move closer to Asheville, I think the chance for an inch or so of accumulation, a nuisance event, one to two inches, could be possible in and around the Asheville area, Haywood County, Henderson County, Transylvania County, Madison County. You've seen it on the models there. I've showed it to you on the radar that the moisture is there. Those temperatures are going to drop. It's just a matter of time tonight as, as the sun sets, you know, it's, and it's a timing issue of where that accumulation occurs. Uh, it looks to me like north of Asheville is going to get that heavier snow this afternoon. But south of Asheville, we'll get the banding features as the sun sets that would allow for more accumulation to occur. So make sure you check out those WNC web cameras. We've got them all over the place, and I've got several more coming for you guys as soon as my IT guy Sam can uh, get dug out from uh, Yancey County. But uh, we've got more coming for you, and uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying those. Check those out. They got, you know, I think 40,000 views on the last storm. And so, you know, really think you guys are enjoying those. So keep checking them out. We'll keep adding them and uh, moving them around the area. Make sure you subscribe to the page and uh, give the video a like. If things start going downhill later this evening, I'll make sure and do another update to uh, keep you guys in the know. Thank you guys for joining me. Check back soon for more information and uh, we'll keep you up.